Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo in the message, could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. <laughs> Just, um, what was I going to say? Oh, just go ahead and subscribe your email to my website. And that way you'll always get an email notification every time the availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. And let's dive in. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you guys this week. Not quite, although I do kind of like that. Oh, hmm, actually I really, okay, we're gonna go with those. First one was the prayer, which I actually love. I know like prayer might be kind of a sensitive word just because it's so associated with religion. I pray almost every freaking night. It's a very intentional thing. So if you guys don't actually pray, this is like an intentions thing, like intentions that you're putting out into the universe. And that's why I do that because you will see how powerful things manifest. Like when you intentionally put something out into the universe and it has pretty pure intentions, it's nothing against other people or it's not, you know, in any way to harm anyone else. This feels like an answered prayer to me. Something that you've been wanting to accomplish. And that's why it's with the mountain, it feels like reaching the peak of something. It could be that you're doing that right now, Virgo. Let's see how, where are we at? Okay. And then I love the hunter. Okay. Because there's something here about the focus. I know the hunter sounds really intense, but I feel as though some of you guys like... This does legit happen. I feel like there's, you've got, you've either got your focus on something or someone's got their focus on you, all right? And there's a little bit more of kind of like things are getting out of your peripherals. Like attention, <laughs> I do that sometimes in yoga. There's something here about you're blocking out all other things and you're zeroing in on something specific. And that's why I was saying, like, someone could be doing that with you right now. There's something about an interaction in the moon. Okay, I'm not surprised to see that. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, Virgo. I feel like... <laughs> it's funny that this popped out. This popped out in a different deck in someone else's reading. But we have the moon and the fool. Right now, I feel as though there's still you coming out of maybe some type of fog. The moon is so many different things. It's like, it could be fears, anxiety, it can be delusion, risk, confusion, or caution. And sometimes to me, it's lethargy, or it can, and that can be subconscious patterns, but to me, it's like a, a mucus or an acidic part of your body that's clouding your vision. And that's why right now, like you could be in some type of a process where you're having to really work hard the mountain and stay really focused on something, which is interesting because if you're in this type of an energy, oh, that, this is such Lord of the Rings, like, <laughs> I did this for Libra one time, but I'm kind of getting it for you. The mountain, it almost feels like you're right, you know, that point where Frodo and Sam, they're, they're at the end, like they're about to cast the ring in the fire, and it's like requiring all this focus, but sometimes there can be like a bit of a distortion, or you like, sometimes it can be connected to self-sabotage, but yeah, like the full card, yeah, it, there's a you can't see something about your new chapter. And that's kind of what happens with the universe. There could be certain pieces that you don't have right now, but the universe does. The universe has the big picture. And sometimes like there will be certain things that come in at particular times in your process that are like, 
profound pieces of information. I'm not even joking about this. And they are answered prayers. That's why if you continue to trust, like if you feel like someone's even on the hunt for you, like you can't shake a particular energy or you can't get away from it, it's like there will be certain things as long as you continue to stay a good person and you're continuing to kind of do what you need to do and stay in full integrity. Certain pieces of information come in at really beautiful times that are just like, wow. And look at that, Virgo. I love this. Okay. First card is the strongest. And you've got the sun card. First out the gate. Yeah. Love it. That's an answer prayer right there. That's illumination. There's the moon and the sun. Something that will be coming in, and maybe it's just the sun coming out in general, where you're starting to feel the light, you're starting to feel more optimistic, more positive, and that will probably bring some type of interaction that feels like an answered prayer. Something that will, that will come in, and it could be like a certain piece of information or something that's going to help you reach the top, reach the peak of something that you've been working for a long time. So cast the ring into the fire, Virgo. This is so funny. Oh, and there's the there's your card right there. There's Virgo. So whatever this thing is that comes in, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's why I always talk about the sun and the photons of light. You get it all absorbed up in the cryptochrome in the back of your eyeball, and then it starts sending information back to your brain. It's like there's a signal that ignites, and then you kind of get this activation with inside of you that maybe helps you to see certain things, or you see solutions, or things see things that you haven't been able to see before. The moon. The moon clouds things, and then the sun illuminates it. So whatever has been kind of feeling clouded or you haven't been able to see it, it could be connected to a brand new chapter that you're about to start. And these can come in in weird ways. Like you might have a weird idea to do something. Okay. Bear with me. <laughs> Cause okay, here's the sun car or I'm sorry, the hermit. I feel like what could happen for you guys over possibly the next week is you have an idea to go do something and maybe it doesn't turn out the way that you expect or you have something maybe that kind of like causes some type of a, it's like a challenge or something like that. All of a sudden there will be this new need that you will have maybe to solve something or maybe to try to like fix a problem that you have. And you're, you might feel a bit of confusion with the moon card where you're like, what? But I have this idea, but it, it's not really that positive. It's going to lead to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. You just need to continue to follow the path. Even though things like sometimes it's where you might have an injury and then you go meet this other place and you get this information and then you're like mind blown because you're like, whoa, certain interaction with certain people, but it's almost like you needed something to kind of give you a boost or kind of get you on because the hunter it's like all of a sudden you'll have the need and you start zeroing in on something and then the universe will kind of direct things seriously guys i've seen this so many times that i know that this is how it plays out so that's why i'm saying the hermit card it feels as though it's almost like something that's getting you out of your norm or, you know, you might kind of like spend this time processing whatever this stuff is that comes in. You're going to be like, whoa, going within, doing some deep soul reflection because you're almost integrating this new interaction or this new information into what you already know. It's kind of like shifting your reality a bit or it's even shifting your consciousness. Okay. It's like really changing things. <laughs> for your reality right now in a huge blessing like way, okay? So these are really positive, not gonna lie. You have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. So that's a choice thing, but I also feel like, I feel like there's a bit of an overthinking aspect, which doesn't surprise me coming in with Virgo. Because the Queen of Cup, the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups, I feel like at times you get really like or just really in your head about making the perfect decision. 
because I feel like in the past you've maybe fallen to some type of temptation or there is a temptation aspect of this. So, because there's the snake card. The snake is like, <laughs> you have all these options and they're, like there's all these good options for you to choose from. And one of them is going to require some form of maybe some self-discipline, okay? Interesting. What in the world? Virgo. And then down here at the base is what's interesting. We have the Two of Swords and the King of Wands. So, I feel like there will be a strong kind of chemistry or magnetic pull to a person that you come in contact with, okay? And two of swords, you might not see like something, or there could be something about like, oh, this is the temptation. King of wands. It could be um, someone kind of like overly charismatic. Don't get too caught up in your head about this because I, I almost feel like something might come in, some type of environment or relationship, whatever this is, however this is that plays out for you guys. And there's something here that you might not see. You're, you might be picking up on something within the environment. And I feel as though it could be someone here that's coming into the environment. And the Seven of Cups almost feels like possibly even multiple people. For some of you guys, this could be some type of a, a group situation that you're involved in or something like that. But the King of Wands feels like someone that's standing out a little bit. It's, it's a bit of a center of attention person. And this person is kind of like, you might be starting to pull your energy off from them. And I wonder if it's because you're picking up on something. What's fascinating is this is on the other side. You've got a new chapter of relationships that are coming in. And that's why I feel like the sun is leading you in that direction. But there's almost like another situation going on in the side, whether it's connected to family or your work environment. There's something here about that you, you like almost see something about maybe a particular person. It's like it's like a fly in the ointment or a you know, you're in some type of an environment that's going to put you at the peak of something. It's going to help you in in your accomplishment, but it's like there's there's a bit of a narcissist. But this is natural. Like I'm not trying to pinpoint it as negative. This is very natural because in most situations you're you're reflecting like we're all made up of 7 times 10 to the 27th atoms. So in general you're going to pull into situations where people act like protons, people act like neutrons, people act like electrons and a lot of the times I feel like um narcissists are just this over over expression of electrons. They absorb too much energy. It's just because of all the chemicals that we've been putting into our bodies and stuff. That's why. So anyway, I'm going to dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So Virgo, if you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.